how are we going to streamline this? Because as, as a local NGO, it's quite hard for you to get on. The study is telling us is that uh, we, are, we, are, we are treating refugee uh, crisis as a disaster and that it is likely to happen and go away. And uh, what we are getting from the practitioners is that uh, actually this is not likely to go away. We need a better mechanism of financing refugee crisis. And one of them is to treat it as a development challenge, like other challenges we have in this nation. You know, we don't have roads. You know, we have malaria. You know, we have, so it's, it's, it is like part of that. So we need to have a comprehensive mechanism of, 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 dealing, with, of dealing with it. Uh, the other important element that is coming up is that there are so many players in, refugee, in financing refugees. Very few are known, others are not known. At national level, coordination is getting better. But at, at, the, at the low government level, it's a, it is a disastrous to the extent that our practitioners here are telling us that actually sometimes they just don't know what these other, play, other partners are doing. So some are good partners who come to them and say this is what we are implementing and the, the district is able to follow up, see what actually they are delivering on. Others, they coerce them when they don't want and they find that the delivery is actually very wanting and others don't want at all. We shouldn't get comfortable that we are refugee hosting district, a refugee hosting country. Sincerely, that is wrong. It is good to be hospitable, but it is wrong to position yourself as a refugee hosting country. We are having trouble supporting our own population. We would like to launch this study by CS Berg and commend them for doing this great job for God and my country. Thank you. Yes.